Hey y'all, it's your girl Maria, and we are back with more Leo Maracchioli. I like this guy. He has personality in spades. I'm just saying. I am so excited about this one. So he released this one recently. It's Sweet Home Alabama. I love Leonard Skinnerd. This song and Simple Man are probably my top two favorite songs. And I am so looking forward to hearing this one and seeing what Leo does with this song. Because I think personally, Sweet Home Alabama doesn't really need to be updated. But what I think and what he's actually going to do are two different things. And I'm always pleased when I see Leo take on a song and just do something really wild and crazy with it. And he has some fun with it. And then you can see that he's having fun with it. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, you already know if you want to show love and support to the artist and or myself, description box below, check it out. Um, and then, yeah, I, I'm so super excited for this, shall we? Oh, I'm gonna love this. I already know it. Big wheels keep on turning. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> Oops, my set's falling off and everything. I freaking love this. He is doing such an amazing job with this song. I freaking love this. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this. This is like one of my favorite songs like ever. It's like in the top 10, you know what I mean? And so to hear someone take on this song not only add value to the song, but do the song justice and still respect the song. Man, you don't see this every day. You really don't. Lord, I'm coming on to you. Okay, I gotta say, I love where he's putting the harsh vocals in, right in the chorus, but it's not like, so far, it's not like really, really heavy that it's like overbearing on the song. It's just enough, just enough. I freaking love what he's doing here, guys. I can't even begin to tell you how much I freaking love what he's doing. Ugh, this is going on my playlist. Okay, come on now.
love that. Oh my gosh, you know we're going to hear the rest, but I'm telling you right now, I, I don't think I've heard very many covers of this song um, where they actually do something cool with the song or bring something different or bring it current, but this is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite cover of this song. It, it, it's not even close. Like seriously, my favorite cover of this song. And I just love at the very end, you see his, his little kid personality come out and he has that like little toy keyboard on him. It's so funny. And like I said, he has personality in spades, just, just bucket after bucket after bucket of personality, just throwing it on you. I freaking love this guy. I, I, this is why I keep covering him. It's just, he has such a great personality. He has such a creative mind. I mean, what's not to love about this guy? Seriously, he take, he'll take any song. I, I truly believe that he'll take any song and he will do something fun with it. Let's keep going. A live stream. I will probably be listening to this on the road because I'm going to be on the road on that day um, and listening to that on my phone while my husband's driving. <laughs> that is awesome. So freaking awesome. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. So freaking awesome. I loved it. It was what so good. He, like I said, he, he, he elevates what he's doing in the song. Like, I just honestly, I'm, I don't even know what else to say. I, I love him. I really, really do. I think. I will never get bored of hearing his music. And this song is absolutely 100% going on my playlist. No kidding. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys like the reaction, you know what to do. You know you want to do it. It's in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Help the girl out. All right. That's going to do it. So live your lives fabulously. And I'll see you in the next one.